Hello everyone, right here I have a 2023 BYD Auto 3 standard range. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The Auto 3 in Malaysia does come standard with a remote start system. So to use the system, first make sure the car is locked, then press and hold this button. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Another standard feature for the Auto 3 in Malaysia is BYD's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the button on the driver's side door handle. And to unlock the car, just press the button again. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the Auto 3, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button located right here. An electric rack and pinion power steering system is what the Auto 3 uses. Standard for Malaysia is a synthetic leather steering wheel with a flat bottom design, red stitching around the inner rim, and sport grips at 10 and 2. The Auto 3 is equipped with a 1-speed automatic transmission. Front and rear parking sensors along with a 360-degree 3D camera system are also standard items for Malaysia. When the camera system is active, the rear camera, the rear 360-degree camera view, the front camera, and the front 360-degree camera view all feature active guidance signs. Below the single camera display, one can select the front camera view, the rear camera view, the left camera view, the right camera view, the front wide-angle camera view, the rear wide-angle camera view, or the left and the right camera views in a single display. Meanwhile, below the 360 degree camera display, the picture of the car can be turned transparent, the parking sensors can be turned off or on, and the 3D camera view can be brought up. In the 3D camera view, the camera angle can be moved around, and the wheels also move as the steering wheel is turned. Below the 3D camera view, more camera angles can be chosen. To the right of the camera display, below the panorama button is the button to access the settings menu. Safety features in the Auto 3 include 7 airbags, an interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, an electronic stability program, a traction control system, hill descent control, a tire pressure monitoring system, 
an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. A driver assistance safety suite is present as well, and this one consists of an automatic emergency braking system, front and rear collision warning, blind spot detection, and rear cross traffic alert. The standard range variant comes with 17-inch, 5 wide spoke 2-tone alloy rims. This Auto 3 rides on Atlas A51 SUV 21560R17 tyres. The disc brakes are ventilated in front and solid at the rear. The suspension comprises McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link setup at the back. BYD Auto is a Chinese car manufacturer headquartered in Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. It is an automotive subsidiary of BYD Company. The name BYD itself is derived from the company's pinyin initials BRD, and later on the backronym Build Your Dreams was created. While it started off by producing pure internal combustion engine vehicles, BYD currently concentrates on producing plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles. The Auto 3 is an example of a battery electric vehicle from BYD. The Auto 3 was first displayed at the 2021 Chengdu Auto Show under its Chinese market name, Yuan Plus, before it officially debuted in February 2022. While the Yuan Plus name is used in China and select Latin American countries, most export markets sell this vehicle as Auto 3. For most export markets in which BYD did not have a presence in before, the Auto 3 is the first product that BYD chose to launch in those markets. The Auto name was inspired by the Auto 2nd, the smallest timescale unit in physics. Riding on BYD's e-platform 3.0 that was developed specifically for battery electric vehicles, the Auto 3 competes in the C-segment crossover SUV category. At the Heifei plant on 15 September 2023, BYD produced the 500,000th Auto 3, a mere 19 months after its introduction. In Malaysia, the Auto 3 was launched in December 2022 as a 2023 model year vehicle, with customer deliveries starting in January 2023. Two fully imported from China variants are available, and they are Standard Range Automatic and Extended Range Automatic. The Auto 3 Standard Range comes with an electric motor powered by a 49.92 kWh lithium-ion phosphate battery with BYD's Blade battery technology. It produces 201 horsepower and 310 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 km power takes 7.3 seconds, and the top speed is 160 km per hour. Combined electric consumption for the Auto 3 standard range automatic is 16 kWh per 100 km, and the carbon dioxide emissions is 0 grams per km. The Auto 3 is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Auto 3 include automatic manual leveling adaptive LED projector headlights, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED front and side indicators, LED sequential rear indicators, LED rear lights, an LED rear fog light, LED rear number plate lights, roof rails, and body colored door handles and side mirrors. Speaker, storage, mirror controls, central locking, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered, and all of them do have a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock. BYD floor mats. And the driver's seat in this Auto 3 standard range does get full powered adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there. Single zone automatic climate control system. The climate control controls are located within the infotainment display and to access them just hit the fan icon down here. Right here we have different modes in the middle. Temperature, fan speed, 
right above. You can select fan only, recirculation, front and rear defrost, maximum air conditioning, air conditioning, automatic mode, on off button. And to the right, you can select between air conditioning and air conditioning settings. Right here, you can set well your air conditioning settings. Storage. More storage beneath the center console. Right in here as well, you have a power outlet, a USB-A port to connect to the system, as well as a USB-C port for charging. Right here you have the automatic mode and on-off buttons for the climate control system, as well as the front defrost button. This one switches between your normal, eco and sport driving modes, traction control. This one is for the one pedal drive system, parking sensors, blind spot monitor, and right here, the parking brake does have an auto hold function, whereby say you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam, the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake, with the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. And right here is the Auto Trees electronic parking brake. When you shift the car into drive, the parking brake automatically disengages, and when you shift the car into park, the parking brake engages itself again. The Auto 3 comes with an integrated touch screen head unit. The system features a 12.8 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. The standard range variant comes with a 6 speaker sound system. The stock sound system that this Auto 3 uses is actually not that bad. We are currently in the CarPlay menu with the current song playing information. The album art will show up here if present. Right here, song title. The artist and album will show up here again if present. Play pause. You can go back a song, go for a song. Song duration. Below, you can activate your shuffle or repeat options. As well as bring up your love and suggest as like these options. Playing Next goes to your Playing Next playlist and if we hit back, we go back to your main media menu where you can look at your recently added songs, playlists, artists, albums and whatnot. And right above, you can select between Library, Playlists and Radio. If we hit this button, we go back to your current media playing information. To the right, we have shortcut buttons for Google Maps, Music, Phone and down below, we go back to the main CarPlay menu by pressing this button. Right here, you can look at your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages, so on and so forth. More apps right here. And right here, we can look at Google Maps, music information, you can go to destination and bring up your voice control. To go back to the main BYD system, hit this button right here. And right here we are in the main BYD system. We have the CarPlay option right here. Your high BYD um, voice control. Sorry, again? Cancel. Radio, Spotify, navigation. Under navigation, you can obviously search for destination, look for charging stations bring up your settings and whatnot and you can move the map to look around the area to find your desired destination if we swipe to the right we can bring up more options such as BYD assistant, phone, radio, music, navigation and whatnot.
then if you don't want to go into the full climate control menu you can also tap on the desired area to select your say temperature different modes fan speed and whatnot and right here if you hit the car icon we can bring up your settings menu with internet settings audio settings display settings software settings apps more right here you can set your time and date language units and whatnot to the right apart from system settings we can also bring up your ADAS settings with your lane support system high beam assist your various safety suites or safety settings if you will and your parking assistance settings your new energy menu with your energy manager charging settings consumption information consumption graph vehicle settings with your smart chassis lights and whatnot notifications are right up here as well vehicle health with your smart maintenance information overhaul menu where you can put your wiper in service position and your vehicle information and below apart from your home button you also have your return button this one allows you to bring up all the open apps and you can turn it off or whatever you want to do you can play pause Turn off the display and rotate the display. As shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button right here. Electronic central locking Light and indicator controls If you press the button at the end of the light and indicator stalk, you can go between mileage, trip A and trip B Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, seat track, volume wheel, click the wheel down to mute the system Different media mode selection button and right here, if you press this button, you can then bring up the arrows. Once the arrows come on, you can use the volume wheel to go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, total average electric consumption, tire pressure monitoring system, display off, average speed, elapsed time, acceleration timer, Average electric consumption for the past 50 kilometers and back to your total average electric consumption. Hit the bottom button again to get rid of the arrows and then you can use the volume controls once more. Right here we have your adaptive cruise control controls and this one allows you to um, rotate the display again however you cannot rotate the display while the display is in carplay mode wiper controls and the steering wheel in this car is still telescopic you adjust it using the receiver right here Cup holders, front center armrest with storage down below, auto dimming rear view mirror, LED reading lights, and right here you have your panoramic sunroof controls. This one controls the shade. Well, this one controls the sunroof itself. 
you can open it up as a vent or open it up in full Sun visor for the driver side, just get a vanity mirror and an LED light. I forgot to mention this earlier on, but right here you have the volume and power wheel. Alright, so that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, speaker, storage, and the rear seat bags in this Ato 3 do fold. They split 60 40 when folding, and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate the straps on the sides of the outer two rear headrests. The one on that side folds down the left seat and the middle seat, while the one on this side folds down the right seat. Just pull it and flip the seat back down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are soft and comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets. Rear aircon vents in middle. Below, a USB A port as well as a USB C port for charging, and storage can be found down here. Rear center armrests with cup holders, and right above. For both sides at the back are grip handles, hooks, and LED reading lights. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and use the touch pad just above the number plate. Boot space in the Ato 3 is 440 liters with the rear seat bags in place. Fold the rear seat bags down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space increases to 1340 liters. To the left of the boot is an LED light and on both sides of the boot are storage areas. The vehicle also comes with charging cables that can be stored in the boot. Under the boot floor is more storage along with the vehicle's tyre repair kit and warning triangle. Fixed headrests for the front, 
So, adjustable headrests for the rear only. Window control, speaker, storage and the front passenger seat in this car does get full powered adjustments as well with all of the controls located right down there. I see size glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with an LED light as well. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2023 BYD Auto 3 standard range. Thanks for watching and goodbye.